everybody! I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. So this past weekend I was looking at Twitter and somebody had written a tweet, or a few tweets actually, about the fact that they went to Frank's, which is this uh, kind of like a ballroom jazz place in Second Life. They went to Frank's with their date and their date was turned away because they were not wearing the right dress. Okay. This is not the first time that I've heard this about Franks, that you have to be wearing formal wear and it has to be appropriate. So a few weeks ago, uh, Blueberry came out with this dress, which is called Griana, and I am not wearing shoes because I'm tacky, I guess, I don't know. Anyway, so they came out with this dress and several girls tried to go to Franks wearing this dress and were turned away because this dress, as lovely as it is, as beautiful as it is, if you turn around, you can see underpants. And, <laughs> you know, I'm not going to give you like a complete crotch shot there, but you, you can see my underpants if you're out to the side. And there's actually a couple of versions of this dress which tend to be more sheer or transparent and you can see uh, nipples or the panties underneath or if they turned off the panties you could see everything in some places that is completely fine you go rock your JLo dreams showing everything you got you do you however <laughs> you do not do you at places like Frank's or any place that has a specific dress code now I see nothing wrong with this dress myself. I really don't. It's beautiful. I love this dress. But I'm also not trying to go to a place like Frank's where they've already said don't wear this dress. Because I don't pay for Frank's. Frank's, I, I have nothing to do with it. I don't pay their sim tier. And that is something that I always tell new people when they come to Second Life is if you go somewhere and they tell you, hey, you're not dressed right or please leave or whatever, Remember, you didn't pay their tier. Tier is very expensive in Second Life. For something like Frank's, it's probably $195 a month. 200 bucks US every month for people to go and just hang out and dance and listen to the music and all of that. You didn't pay for it. You have no say in what they allow. That being said, I do feel like Frank's is a little bit um, heavy-handed at times with what they will allow. They won't allow furries or anybody wearing animal ears like the neckos and, you know, tails and things like that. That's not allowed. Mm -mm. You get your furry butt out of rank. That is not for you. Go find another place to go. They just want humans only. Do I think that's fair? No, not really. I get what they're going for. They want a beautiful ballroom filled with beautiful people listening to beautiful music. I get it. I really do. And this is really not to single Franks out as like the worst place to go if you're not dressed appropriately. It's really not. But it's just the one that's on my mind because of the tweets and I also saw a plurk about it um, where the girl in question was not wearing this this dress but one very similar to it. So, you know, uh, I, I don't know. I don't want to get into all of that. But it did get me thinking, what does Franks really consider appropriate formal wear at this point? Because let's be honest, the Franks kind of looks a little dated. Like just the build and everything, it's a little bit dated. Which is okay, that's the way they want to have it and they obviously don't have problems getting traffic there because it's almost always packed. I love the music at Franks, I really do because I love old jazz and love songs and things like that. But the last time that I was there, the people that were there were not dressed uh, very current. I should, I guess that's the nicest way to say it. They're not very current on their style of dress. So it just made me wonder, what does Franks really consider appropriate formal wear? So what we're gonna do is head out to Franks and we're gonna look at some of the clothing so that if you wanna go out there, you know what you can wear and, and what you can't wear. This dress I'm wearing, nah, -uh, do not wear it. <laughs> But I'm also going to hop onto my alt to go out there because I don't want to be seen. 
<laughs> Not that Franks is a bad place, I actually quite love it. I haven't been in a really long time, um, but the last time that I was there, they had really wonderful music and the people were super, super nice. But I don't really want to be bothered, so I'm going to hop on my alt and we're going to go to Franks. Okay, and here we are at Frank's. I am on my old Piper right now because Piper never gets bothered anywhere she goes in Second Life. I already know that Piper's dress is appropriate for Frank's. I already know this. Why? Because it has flexi. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Don't. Anyway, <laughs> I already know that she is appropriate because one, she's in the formal gown. It's a mermaid style gown. It's got all the flexi at the bottom. Uh, two, it is all the way to the ground. At three, it doesn't really show that much skin. She's got her cleavage covered, everything. So Piper is ready to go to Frank's. Now, let me, let me just show you Frank's here real quick. Um, it is rather laggy. There are approximately 60 people here, which is insane, but pretty normal for Frank's, I think. Frank's turns to just look a, a little dated. Um, there's not a whole lot of mesh going on, I don't think, but, you know, that that's okay because you come here to dance and listen to love songs and things like that. Like, right now, they're playing Chantal Kraviazuk, and uh, I probably just butchered her name, but anyway. And if you come here and you don't have a dress, they do have stores. So you can come and shop any of these fine stores to find yourself some uh, formal wear and jewelry and things like that. But let's, he let's head on into Frank so that we- Oh, well, we're here for the fashion, so we gotta look at this lady here. Oh, and that's- Okay, so she is, uh, she is Frank's appropriate. Um, there's a lot of flexi. But she is covered up, even though her dress is lace, she's not showing a whole lot of skin. So that is a, that is a dress that you could wear here to Frank's. Now if you come to Frank's and you don't have any, any kind of formal or anything, they do have a free gown and a free suit at the front of the building. Um, this is not for mesh bodies. This is definitely all system stuff. I'm pretty sure that dress will be flexy, but it's free, so why not, right? Okay, I pop that up to no limit so that we don't have any jelly dolls. And um, let's, let's take a look here at what is happening here at Frank's. Okay, well, here is some fashion going on here at Frank's. I don't think that this dress is very appropriate just because um, you can kind of see her crotch when she dances. Yeah, this dress is inappropriate. I don't know how she got in here. And I have heard that it kind of depends on who is managing at the time as to what dresses are allowed. Like this dress shouldn't be allowed. The Brianna dress that I was wearing from Blueberry covers a lot more than what this is whatever is happening here. So I guess it really does depend on who's working. Why is he running? Hey guy, why are you running? Where are you going? What's happening? Okay, let's see here. Why is she running? Why are people running? Is there something I should know about? Oh, I thought she had a helmet on. No, that's just her hair. Okay. So this girl looks really pretty. I think that her dress is really nice. It's very appropriate for Frank because it's mesh, but it covers up basically everything. So she is definitely Frank's appropriate. Also, somebody's feet just talked in, in local chat. So I would suggest if you're going to come here, maybe get your feet not to talk in local. So this would be considered Frank's appropriate. Um, her, her, she's not showing like a ton of cleavage. Most everything is covered up. Yes, girl, strut. And even though the back is low, it's not super low in the back, so she is very Frank's appropriate. But let's check out some of the guys. I mean, because guys here need to be wearing suits. They're not supposed to wear jeans or anything like that, so let's check out what some of the guys are wearing here. In fact, let's check out this guy. Hey, buddy. I like your suit. Are these seashells? Or what is, what's happening here? But he is in a suit. It covers everything got his smiley on. He's even got a lovely gold watch. So this guy is jazzy and ready for for anything. So he is definitely Frank's appropriate. Now we have two different guys in two different suits, but both of them are Frank's appropriate because, well, 
They're in suits. They've got their ties on. One of them went a little more jazzy with his hair. That hair is just, it's a lot of texture. And the other one is just a little more casually cool. I actually kind of like this outfit. This is really nice. And it looks like it's mesh. So, both these guys, Frank's appropriate. So these people are just getting down with it. Heck yeah, y'all. Just get it. She got that swishy dress. Yes. Perfect for dancing. Whoa, her dress looks like a cake. And she's got that physics going on with her boobs. But, still, Frank's appropriate. So if we go back here to the bar, this lady's dress, I don't know. I mean, she's showing a lot of belly. You can definitely see her crotch if you came around too much. It's a nice dress, but I don't think she's very Frank's appropriate. I think the real question here is, why haven't I gotten an I am? None of these guys want to dance with me? I mean, I would say no, but really? Oh no. Well, that was fun. Um, the guy who I am, Piper, just wanted to say nice dress. I said thank you and got the heck on out of there. <laughs> but that was Frank's. I really do suggest that you go to Frank's if you've never been before. Well, if you're human, not a furry, obviously. Um, it's just one of those date places in Second Life that it's like a rite of passage, I guess, to go there. And if you like jazz and dressing up and stuff like that, it's a really, it's really a good place. Normally the staff that they have on hand is really, they're really nice and they're really helpful and all of that good stuff. Although I guess it does depend on who is working at the time as to what dresses are deemed appropriate. Because come on, some of those dresses that I saw there, not appropriate, showing way too much skin and stuff like that. If this dress that I'm wearing isn't appropriate, then some of those shouldn't be either. And I think that maybe they need to get their staff all on the same page as to what is actually Frank's appropriate and what is not. But again, I don't work there. I don't own the sim. I don't pay their tier. So what do I know? If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up because it's always super, super appreciated. And you can hit the subscribe button if you haven't done that already and also hit the little bell because then you will be notified every time I do something on this channel, when I go live, when I upload, all that good stuff. Until next time, I love you guys and I'll see you soon.